Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate the purpose of using the JavaScript executor in Selenium Python. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, we use this JavaScript executor to run the JavaScript code. Okay, during Selenium Python automation, if you want to run some JavaScript code, then you have to use this JavaScript executor. So there is a command guys, okay, execute script command. Okay, in Selenium Python, there's a command known as execute underscore script command using which we can run the JavaScript code. Okay, that command is nothing but this JavaScript executor. So I'm going to give some examples so that you'll get idea how to use this JavaScript executor or that is nothing but uh, uh, execute script command in Selenium Python to run the JavaScript code. So here are a few examples that I'm going to show you. I would like to display an alert. After that, I would like to display a prompt. I would like to display a confirmation dialog. With the help of JavaScript, I can do that, okay? Displaying an alert on the page, displaying a prompt on the page, displaying a confirmation dialog on the page is possible by running some JavaScript code during Selenium Python. So for that, I'll switch to this uh, PyCharm IDE where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the window. And here we have to open the application URL. Uh, I'll open this uh, browser and open some application URL, say omai.blogspot.com. After this page is loaded, I would like to display an alert here. Okay. So copy this and uh, paste the uh, application URL here. Once the application is loaded in this browser here, okay, I would like to display an alert on this page with the help of JavaScript. I would like to run some JavaScript to display a particular alert on this page. So for that, we have to use a command known as execute script command. Okay. JavaScript executor is nothing but this command known as execute script. How to call that command? I have to say driver dot execute script. That's it. Inside this execute script, provide double quotes. In between the double quotes, you have to provide the JavaScript code for displaying an alert on the page. So first I'll show you manually how to display an alert on this page. Okay, with the help of JavaScript code, without running the Selenium Python script, manually I'll run some JavaScript code on this page so that uh, an alert will be displayed. For that, I'll right click on this page and select inspect option. I'll get this cool Chrome Dev tools. I'll select the console tab. If anything comes by default, I'll clear it out here. In the console tab, I'll type some command. Okay. I'll write some JavaScript code otherwise. Okay. So I would like to write some JavaScript code here to display an alert on this page. The JavaScript code is nothing but alert. You see when I'm typing, when I'm typing it is uh, auto displaying. So this is a command alert. The circular brackets give single quotes. The circular brackets give single quotes on the alert. Whatever the information you want to get displayed, right? That you provide here. Let's say I would like to display my name Arun Motori on the alert. Now press enter. You see. The alert got displayed on the page with uh, the given text that is Arnmotori. This is a normal alert, is an information alert, you can say. So this, this is coming because we are running the JavaScript code from the console tab here in the browser. The same command, the same JavaScript code, this particular JavaScript code, which is the uh, reason behind displaying that alert on the page, right? I would like to run in Selenium Python code. For that, I'll copy this JavaScript code and come back here. And in this double quotes, I'll paste it like this, okay? This is a JavaScript code for displaying the alert. To run this JavaScript code in Selenium Python, we have to use this command known as execute script command. So I'll just give it time delays, time delay, like uh, before closing the browser, I'll just say three seconds at least, and after that I'll quit the browser. Now run the script and see whether on the page, because of running the JavaScript code here for run, displaying an alert, alert is coming on the page or not, okay? So look. after the page loads, you see the alert is coming with the information around motor. It's working fine. Similarly, guys, we can also display a prompt on the page. Let me show you manually how to display a prompt on this page. Here, I'll write prompt in JavaScript. This is a code in JavaScript for displaying a prompt. And here, I'll say what is your name, OK? Or we can say enter your name. Enter your name. Like this, I'll enter give some text here. And press enter. You see, I got a prompt. This is how it looks similar to alert, but uh, it has, you know, Okay, button, cancel button and some text box video also there. Enter your name. I have to enter my name. Let's say and say okay button or cancel button. This is what is a prompt. You see the result came here, right? This is what is a prompt. If you want to run this uh, JavaScript prompt, okay? If you want to display that prompt here, we have to run this JavaScript code in Selenium Python. So copy this code for uh, displaying the prompt on the page and come back here. And in place of this, uh, in, inside this execute script command, in, in place of that uh, Java, JavaScript code for displaying an alert, Provide the JavaScript code for displaying a prompt, uh, which will ask you to enter your name. Okay, run this code and see whether it is working fine or not. JavaScript prompt should get displayed on the page. You see the JavaScript prompt got displayed here. I can type my name, etc. Okay, 
So it was uh, there for less time, so that okay. Now the next thing, not only that, I can give you one more example uh, of running the JavaScript from code from Selenium Python. That is, I would like to run a JavaScript code uh, which can display confirmation dialog on the page. Okay. So first, I'll show you manually how to display confirmation dialog on the page using the JavaScript code from the browser. I have to say confirm in the single quotes. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure? Kind of uh, this is a question. If you are sure, you can say okay. Other if you are not sure, you can say cancel or something like that. Okay. Press enter. You see, you are getting a confirmation. Uh, the difference between this alert and confirmation is that in the alert only okay button will come, but uh, in the confirmation dialog, you'll get both okay and cancel button. Whether you can accept the alert, uh, whether you can accept this uh, confirmation dialog, or you can dismiss the uh, or uh, you know ignore the confirmation dialog. Okay. Where you say okay means yes, yes or no generally will come. That's okay. So copy this. The copy this JavaScript code which is responsible for displaying that kind of confirmation dialog on the page. The same code I'm going to write here. Okay, I'm going to provide that in between this uh, execute script command. Okay, I'll pass the same JavaScript code to this execute script command of Selenium Python so that this execute script command will run this JavaScript code provided. And on this page during the Selenium automation code running, right, uh, this confirmation dialog with this particular are you sure text get will display with OK and cancel buttons. Run the script. You see, during Selenium automation, JavaScript is being run with the help of the execute script command. And on the page, you're getting a confirmation dialog. Are you sure? Yes or no, something like that. Okay. So, so that's all. Uh, so that's all, guys. Uh, this is how, okay, this is how we have to use JavaScript executor. That is a command, execute script command in Selenium Python for running the JavaScript code in Selenium Python automation scripts. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.